So at year 7 level you're going to be making a sliding lid box, but you need to choose which side you want. Here there are a variety of different sizes with a number of a variety of decorations on them. So you're going to finish them off to some degree. And this one is just about how to cut it. So you need to decide what measurements you want to be. So for example this one here is, uh, this one is 225 by 225. This one is 250 by 125. This one is 170 millimeters wide by 200. You can also do 100 by 100. This one is 150 by 150. But remember, whatever you make, it has to be made from this one piece of timber that's 900 millimeters long. So I'm going to make this size, so I'm going to do this one. So first of all, we want to cut these pieces here. Now these pieces here, 250 millimeters long. So what you'll need to do is putting your ruler on the end, measure 250 millimetres, remember to mark that way, don't mark this way and don't just do a dot. Then mark it off, uh, square it off and we're going to cut that. Now when you're cutting the timber you should always measure, cut, measure, cut, me don't measure, measure, measure because you're going to lose some of this timber with the saw cut. Now there's two types of sawing boxes, this one Put it in the vise, nice and tight. Now these are designed so that that blade will go in there easily and you should be able to cut it nice and square. So I'm going to put that in. Now you're going to have to push it hard this way. And once again get it in. Pull it back three times, one, two, three. And then go forwards. Now you've got to bring this down into that groove there. Bit of the upper body. Oops. So there we have one piece. Now we want two pieces, and for this one, I'm just going to show you the other box depending on which one you've got. So we've got two styles of boxes. Now, this is now a measuring tool. This is actually 250. This measures a lot of measurements, but this one will only do one measurement at 250. So, what you can do is you can put it on. Feel that it's flush on the end here, scribe that across. Just double check to make sure it's square, which it is. Then this one can go in this box here. Now this one is a bit taller so you will have to get your hand in here and once again put the blade in there, get it on the line, pull it back three times. One, two, three and then you can go forwards. So that's these two, one there and one there. I'll pull this one out. Oh, you got a hidey hole in this one. How about that one? Didn't know that existed. Now, even though this is 250 here, this this piece here is going to be 250. Now this one was 125 from there to there, but how far is the piece from here to here? Now this timber is 12 millimeters thick here. And it's 12 millimetres thick there. So if we do 125 minus 12 minus 12, which makes it 125 minus 24, that should end up being 101 millimetres. So we'll just double check it. So whatever size you do, 101, right there. So whatever size you do, you're going to have to allow for your 12 millimetres. So if you're doing one that's 200, it's going to be 200 wide, but you need to take it down 24. If it's 150 millimetres wide, you have to take off 24. So this is going to be 101. So 101, once again, just there. Put it in your mitre box or your cutting box. Getting it down, holding it tight. Two, three.
adapter. We need two of these, one for this end and one for that end. And if we've got some spares, we can put another one in there. So once again, this is like a measuring tool. This is the measurement we want. Just check that it's square. see this piece will go here and this one will go here but the problem we have is that we need to get the sliding lid over that so we need to cut this piece off so utilizing a bench hook this time because it won't, might not fit in here utilizing a bench hook put your saw blade in there See if we can cut that off. Now if you need to, give that a sand because there's still a bit of a lip. Get some sandpaper and sand that lip down because that piece then will fit nicely like that for the lid to fly go over. So there's our four pieces. Remembering yours will be a different size. You need to take into account that that's 12 and that's 12 So this will be a different measurement to what the outside measurement is. So go off and cut your four pieces Put it together if you can Without it falling over I might put it together upside down just to show you And that one's going to actually sit up a bit higher So go and do that